everyone, Morgan here. Let's go ahead and talk about the preps that I got for June. So a couple of these things I don't have in hand, but they are coming. So I put them in the June prep category because I allotted June prep money to that stuff. So anyway, we actually went on a vacation for about a week and a half uh, to New York City in June. So there wasn't a ton of um, preparedness or <clears throat> practicing skills or anything like that. I'm also in my third trimester at the time of making this video. I am 30 weeks pregnant. So um, my prepping and stuff is going to be shifting a little bit into more kind of baby stuff. And I'm also going to be doing a lot more food in the future. So this was not as heavy on food this month, uh, mainly because we were gone that week and a half and we had to, when we went to the grocery store, we were stockpiling for just everyday eating kind of thing, you know. Um, so I did can that corn and I canned those apples. Uh, we, you saw those videos on that. I bought some black beans. I had um, considered canning them, but I think I'm gonna Mylar bag those. Um, I bought some IOSAT tablets. I was watching Jericho and it just inspired me to buy some new IOSAT tablets because I realized my other ones were a little bit old. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I had some nice fresh IOSAT tablets for the whole family. Microgreens. This was um, important for me to have microgreens or sprouts. You can use these seeds for sprouts or microgreens. You could technically use them for um, growing the whole plant as well, but they're best suited for sprouts or microgreens. And uh, you know, you can add these as powerhouses to your any meal. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of um, sprout and microgreen seeds of a variety of kinds. These will last forever, so I'm not really that concerned with it. Um, glow sticks, I realized I didn't know where any of my glow sticks were. I had like a whole box at one point and they're just kind of gone. So I bought some more glow sticks and I also bought some more emergency blankets. The other day I realized I was trying to get some emergency blankets for the kids and I didn't know where they were. And I guess I had used them on other kids or something because they were gone. So I just bought a bunch. Uh, let's see, I bought two propane butane tanks. It's always nice to have some extra of those. We only had like one in each bag and I was like, you know what, I, I want a few extra. Uh, and then two one pound propane tanks. I like to have lots of extra of those. We do have the big propane tanks in which we can refill the smaller ones, but I just like to have, you know, the already filled ones ready to go. And we can fill from the big ones to the small ones as needed. So I got some um, very nice gifts from a um, subscriber that's been with me for a really long time. I'm just gonna call her L. I don't know if she wants to be totally blasted on here but she has been here with me since I think the beginning. And um, she texted me and was like, hey, you know, I got some stuff for you. Um, you know, I wanna send you this stuff. Well, this was stuff from Apaka boxes that she had been subscribed to. And a lot of the stuff in these Apaka boxes are so cool and things that I'm really excited to try out and use. Um, I hope to get out there very soon. It is very hot. It may not be until after the baby comes in which I use some of this stuff. You know, I'm try just trying to be realistic with myself. So I am considering um, some baby blankets that my friend and my mom made for me. And I just wanted to show my appreciation um, also for these gifts that my, my friend gave me as well. Um, I'm just so appreciative to all of the support um, that people have been providing for my third child and I just really, really appreciate you and I just wanted to, to say thank you uh, for that. So it's nice to have these homemade things and also nice that, you know, people were thinking of me and sending me some gifts that I needed off my registry. Um, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I bought a bunch of lotion. <laughs> I use so much lotion. I know how to make lotion. It's actually incredibly easy. I have the supplies, I make lotion, but I like to have lotion on hand. Lotion just really doesn't expire, like commercial lotion. Even my homemade lotion, I used a preservative in it, which made it last a long time, and it lasted, yeah, well, oh, two years. It lasted at least two years. So yeah. Um, out of the refrigerator. So I'm pretty happy with that, but I like to buy the commercial shampoos and soaps and lotions because they last an, an obscene amount of time. Um, my mom still has shampoos and lotions from like the eighties <laughs> that are still in her drawers and they are still fine. <laughs> All right. I got some banana trees. 
I have my coffee plants, but I missed my banana tree. I got a uh, four pack of banana tree plants and I'm gonna be growing them inside for a little while and when we get to our permanent location, I'll probably plant them out there. But yeah, I wanted to get those banana trees. Any perennials that I can get, I wanna try to get right now. So I'm currently freeze drying corn and green beans. So I told you in a previous video that I was gonna be canning and not doing um, any freeze drying. Well, we got this portable AC for this room because the room just got, gets so hot from the outside. So it's hot outside. It's, you know, it's mid to, to late nineties outside. So it's very, very hot um, on the outside. And the AC is just working so hard to just to cool the house in general, but that room has no direct AC and it has no windows as nothing. So that just general room that my freeze dryer is in gets very, very hot. It's not heating the house or anything. It's just really hot in that room. And so when the freeze dryer is on, it just gets even more hot. Well, we bought this portable AC. I didn't want to wait until fall to get freeze drying again. I got so much to freeze dry. I want to be freeze drying. I'd much rather be freeze drying than anything else. Um, so anyway, I got the freeze dryer back up and I currently have corn and green beans in there, but I'll have a lot more for July. Don't you worry. I guess I'm under the bed storage bins. I'm crazy excited about these. Um, because I'll be able to free up space at other places to be able to store some things in those bins and underneath the bed. I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing a whole video about storage under bins um, later. And then I got these one gallon buckets. I want to be growing some other food indoors like uh, some carrots. Um, I want to be growing um, just a couple other little things indoors that are super easy to grow indoors that I just want to be able to grow. Um, so I also use these one gallon buckets for a variety of other like kitchen stuff, you know, whatever. I use it for a lot of stuff. So, um, I got these one gallon buckets. So that was it. Um, again, I, I haven't really done too many skills and stuff this lately. I have been very, very tired, you know, been taking care of the kids and, you know, 30 weeks pregnant now and you know just trying to get by you know i still have a full-time job that i do plus youtube and all this other stuff so um i've been prepping where i can and i want to know from you where are you prepping what have you been doing lately and what are your goals for prepping for the rest of this year let me know down in the comments thank you all so much for watching conquer tomorrow by today i'll talk to you later bye